Hey guys, Susanna Johnson here, and I'm doing a video today on how real my business is. And so before you start like rolling your eyes and going, oh, another video or another post about like how great her business is, I just want you to really hear me out on this because I have something very profound and to say for all of the doubters out there because I was definitely a doubter. Now, I know that the hair is not done, the makeup's not done, the lighting is not great on this video, all the things that they tell you to take care of before you do a video, but here's my thing. I work from home and I designed my life to be exactly this, that I didn't have to do all of that, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, I am a Team Beach Body Coach. I have been for three and a half years, going on four here very, very soon. And uh, maybe you've heard of what we do, maybe you know what we do, maybe you are a coach even yourself, or you're just starting, or you have been for a while. Now, I was actually a coach for a year and a half. Um, <laughs> I actually signed up in 2009. Yeah, it was 2009. No, I, I, I even forget. It was like, like late 2000. And eight early 2009 anyways and I was a coach for a year and a half and I quit like I flat out quit the business it was not working for me I wasn't making any money with it I was floundering around I was looking for direction I didn't have any discipline myself and, and so I quit and I quit for about eight months and then I realized that I loved helping people so much I had become a fitness instructor uh, because I loved fitness so much so I said, oh, I'm going to give this another shot. So I signed up again. And for the first six months, I didn't do anything with this business. When I say anything, like I didn't do anything. I would be lucky if I made $20 a week. Um, and then I would go like weeks without any income. And then I would get like a $14 paycheck. And my husband was going, congratulations. That's awesome. But um it's not about the money for me, really, it's not. It's about helping people achieve their health and fitness goals, that's number one. But I was not being consistent with helping people reach their health and fitness goals. I wasn't. I had 400 friends on my on my Facebook page, 200 of which you know I probably knew through school or college, and then the others were friends and family like that I knew locally. I didn't have like this big network of people. Um, people weren't crawling out of the woodwork to ask me for help. And it was, it was very challenging in the beginning. So I just want that to be known. Very challenging. Now, I didn't actually start really kind of plugging in and becoming consistent with building my business until 2012. And 2012, it, I became really consistent because I wanted to stay home with my children. Um, they're older, so being home during the day actually gave me time to just be, and then I would be home when they got home from school. But that's what I wanted to do because I was in a job that I couldn't stand. And actually, when I talk about being in jobs that I couldn't stand, have you ever been in a job where you have no pay increase, um, and if you do, it's like a 25 cents an hour? Um, that was the most raise I've ever received in my whole entire time of working for any employer. I received a 25 cent raise and the, all my other jobs, I didn't have a raise. Anybody else relate to that? I mean, not even like a 2% cost of increase, nothing. Um, so the 25 cents was like rocking. So I'm going to throw some numbers at you because I want you to see the potential and then and then I'm going to back it up with, with the doubters and the people that doubt this is even possible. So 2012, I went all in and I became a consistent beach body coach. And we get 1099s. We don't. We get 1099s. So at the end of the year, I got my 1099 and was like, holy cow. Um, I actually made a, a substantial chunk of change. It was like um, right around like $11,000 $11, for the year. So on top of my full-time income... That was nice, you know, that, that's a nice chunk of change to kind of put aside or to help out with paying the bills because Doug and I had $60,000 worth of debt that we were trying to pay off. So that definitely helped the cause there. Then in 2013, my income tripled. It literally tripled when I got my 1099. I couldn't believe it. That's the year that I left my full-time job. 
I just got my 1099 again this year and it's tripled again. So we're talking tripling your income. Now I am coming from a position where the most raise I've ever gotten was 25 cents an hour. So to triple my income consistently for the past one, two, now going on three years, to me that's insane because the potential is limitless what you wanna do. And I shared this with my team yesterday and what I got back was yay, fantastic, good for you. Uh, and I was really skeptical, skeptical about sharing it because I don't really like to talk money. And then I got the, my husband doesn't think that that's realistic. And I shared it with, with my husband and he said, I felt exactly the same way. I didn't believe that it could even be done because it sounds so far out there that, that you're able to grow that much over a short period of time until he saw it. And he even said to me yesterday, I'm even still skeptical that you could triple it again this year. And he said, because that kind of numbers, like that scares me. And I don't blame him, it kind of scares me too. But it absolutely can be done. You can do this if you A, truly are a product of the product yourself. That means you're working on your own personal journey. B, that you are truly in this to help other people. It's not just about financial gain for you. It's about really seeing other people reach their goals as well. And that C, you are consistent every single day. Because on those weeks that like I made $20 and then I didn't make like anything and then I made $14, I was not consistent. I was finding excuses. I was getting in the way. I was out rather doing something else than building my business. And what happened was people suffered. People suffered, not me, other people, people that I promised to help. So it's when I got consistent up here in my head about reaching out and helping those people each and every single day, that's when my business started to grow. So make yourself a servant for other people and then you will reap what you sow. I cannot say it enough. And if this video was helpful for you, it inspired you, click like. If you're interested in doing what I do, please ask me questions. Please, I'm not here to convince people. I am not here to say, oh, sign up with me, sign up with me, that's not my game. If you're working with somebody else, please reach out to them and ask them questions. But I'm not here to convince you to do what I do. I'm here to help guide you if you're interested in helping other people. And have a great day. Hope this was helpful. This is a longer video. Ah, bye.